Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down Shaolin Monk Mother Funk by Hiatus Coyote. Sounds like this. Alright, for this first part, we're gonna focus on the intro, but in the key of C sharp minor, and I'd say for 90% of the song, we're going to go back and forth between C sharp minor and D major 7. Okay, so we start off playing this. Alright, so here first, I played C sharp minor. Using this voicing, played on the 5th. Alright, so I have G sharp, C sharp and E on my left hand, G sharp and B on my right. Then I'm going to go up, play D major 7. Alright, so simply switch G sharp, C sharp, E to A, D and F sharp. And on your right hand, you will go from G sharp and B to A and C sharp. Alright, so that way you have D major 7 also on its 5th. Okay, so C sharp minor 7, D major 7. Then you have this melody line on your right hand. Okay, so here I'm playing a grace note first from D sharp to E using my fourth and fifth finger. Then I'll go down, play D sharp, C sharp, B, and then another grace note from B to C sharp. Here using my second and third finger. One more time. And for my left hand, I'll play the first grace note on C sharp minor, playing G sharp, C sharp, and E, and the second grace note on D major, right? A, D, and F sharp. So the first grace note from D sharp to E and the second from B to C sharp. One more time. Okay, now here's another bit of the intro. So again, I went back and forth between C sharp minor 7 and D major 7, and I first played this C sharp minor 7, G sharp, C sharp on my left hand, E and B on my right hand. All right, so only two notes for each hand. Then I played G sharp with my fourth finger here, E, with my second finger, and then I landed on D major 7, playing D, A, left hand, C sharp, F sharp, right hand. Also four notes for this chord. Then 
then I played C sharp minor 9. Alright, C sharp, G sharp, B, and D sharp. And also with a grace note from C sharp to D sharp. Coming right after that C sharp minor 9, I'm going to play one E on my right hand, like this, using my second finger, and then I'm going to replay D major 7, right, using the same voicing. Right now, so far from the top, we have this. Now here's the next bit of the intro. So first here we played C sharp minor 9 and D major 7 in this register of the keyboard. So we have C sharp minor. G sharp, C sharp, and E on my left hand, G sharp, B, and then D sharp on my right. Also notice that I'm using a 1, 2, and 4 fingering for my right hand. Then I'll play one E with my pinky here on my right hand before playing D major 7, A, D, F sharp, A, C sharp, and then F sharp. And then what right after that? I'm going to play one G sharp with my pinky here on my right hand. All right, and I'm going to replay that same pattern four times. Here's one, two, three, and now the fourth and the last. So here for the fourth, I won't be playing this G sharp on top on my right hand. Okay? Instead, I'm going to go up and play D major 7. Alright, so A, C sharp, D, and F sharp. So here's the fourth time again. Right now, from here, you're going to rest your left hand on that D chord playing A, D, and F sharp, you're going to rest there, and you will replay your right hand chord after two measures. So if you count that, it will be after 16 beats. And then we're going to replay it two times again, but now from eight beats apart. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna start the next bit. Now, if you got through all that, here's what we got from the intro so far. So as you can see for the next beat, we have another back and forth between C sharp minor 9 and D major 9. All 
right, so let's break that down. We have C sharp minor 9. That's C sharp, G sharp, and B on my left hand. E, G sharp, and then D sharp on top for my right hand. Okay, so that's C sharp minor 9. Then I'm going to go slightly up. Right? And play D major 9. D, A, C sharp, F sharp, A, and then E on top. We're gonna play and repeat those two chords for about four measures. And right after that, we're going to play G major. That's D, G, and B on my left hand. D and B on my right. Then I'm going to go down melodically and play A with my fourth finger, G with my third, and then play this. So here I'm playing C major 9, but first I have a grace note from E to F sharp using my third and fourth finger, like this. And doing so, I have C and G on my left hand, and one B here on my thumb for my right hand. Then I'm going to go down melodically again and play E with my third, and D with my second. Alright, so we go from G to C. to finally land on C sharp minor 9. So now we're back on our back and forth between C sharp and D. So C sharp minor 9. Again, we have this voicing on the fifth. So G sharp, C sharp, E. G sharp, B, and D sharp. Then I'm going to play D major 7. D, A, F sharp, A, and C sharp. After that, C sharp minor 7, G sharp, C sharp, E and B. And just like the beginning of the intro, we're going to play G sharp with our fourth finger, then E with our second, and then play C sharp here with our thumb. And landing on C sharp, we're going to play A and D with our left hand. Okay, like this. time and then we have another C sharp minor 9 played on a lower register C sharp G sharp B and D sharp going to D major 7 D A C sharp then C sharp minor 7 having two notes on my left hand and one note on my right C sharp G sharp left hand Simply B for my right hand, and then go back to D major 7. And to end this intro, I'm going to play this. That's G major 7 on its fifth again. I have D, G, and B on my left hand, F sharp, B, and then F sharp again on my right. And I'm going to double this chord. Okay, very, very quickly. I'm going to double the code and then break. Alright, so after the back and forth between C sharp minor 9 and D major 7, after four measures of doing that, you have G going to C, C major 9. Then C sharp minor 9 to D major 7, C sharp minor 7, going to D major 7, C sharp minor 9 again to D major 7, C sharp minor 7 to D major 7, and we're going to end this intro by playing this double G major 7.
All right, now we're ready to recap the whole intro. And that will be it for this first part guys, this was the intro. If you want to learn the rest of this amazing song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, if you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another YouTube.